Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to use the GIMP clone tool. So I'm going to open up GIMP software, you can download this software, just do a search for GIMP or Graphic Image Manipulation Program, download the software. I'm just going to drag and drop this picture in here. So I've got this picture in here and what I want to do is remove this guy from the picture, this one on the left and leave the one on the right. And I'm going to use the stamp tool here or the clone tool. So if I click on the clone tool, um, there's a few different options that I normally use here. So I can change the size of the brush here. And normally I use quite like a fuzzy brush, so something that's got a fuzzy edge around it. And the alignment, I normally set it to aligned. There's a few different options in here, and I'll, maybe I'll make a more advanced tutorial about these options here. But for now, we're going to use aligned, and we're going to set our brush size here. So we use something a bit smaller, something like... Uh, something like this. So you can see this circle here. Now, the first thing this tool is asking me to do is control click down here. It says control click to set a new clone source. So I need to hold down the control key and click somewhere on the image where I want to use it as the source material. Let's call it the source material. So if I click here, holding down the control key and I left click here, uh, the circle will remain there then I can start to draw over the image and it's going to take that source and align it and draw across so if, as I left click and drag across I can start to remove parts of that image let's do that one more time so we'll control click around here and as I drag across I can start to remove some of that image here You have to be a bit careful with this. And you might see a few issues that we have to tidy up afterwards, but in general, you know, we can do a pretty quick job here. So, we've almost managed to remove the whole guy, but there's a bit of an issue with this floor in here. So let's right click here control key and click and then we're going to draw across here and try and tidy up this uh, this ground a little bit okay so it's not perfect I would have spent a lot more time on that to be honest but um, as a quick example, it's not too bad. It's a bit bit dodgy down here. We could have tidied that up a little bit more using the clone tool and cloning some, some other parts of the image and making it a bit more clean. But you know, within a few seconds, we've managed to do that. So that's how you remove a picture or some object from an image. So let's try one more other image. Let's close this one. Let's give this one a quick go. So we've got this lady sitting here and we want to remove this blue sign and a little bit of the post but we want to leave the yellow bit there right so let's use the clone tool again you don't really need to change any of the settings so we're going to click around here somewhere so we'll control click here and then i'm going to drag across this signpost across this bit here so that's it signpost gone so you can see how the clone tool is quite a good tool to use if you want to remove something from the background or you don't like something certain things there you can remove them quite quickly there's also another tool called the heal tool the healing tool so I'm going to do a separate tutorial on the healing tool it works very similar to the clone tool uh, there's some slight differences there uh, normally the healing tool is used to remove like wrinkles from faces and scars or st stuff like this you can use the the heal tool to do that but to remove objects like this all you're doing is cloning another part of the image and then just drawing over so i hope you find that tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial